Hello, and welcome to Annuities, the Accumulation Phase. My name is Tuesday Johnson. Here's an introduction to concept with applications. Let's talk about annuities. So there are two basic types of annuities that we're going to address in this class. One is a sinking fund, where you deposit money for a future use, and the other is a paying fund, where money is paid to you from the account. And this is called like a regular annuity. Well, we will be taking a very simplistic look at these accounts. More subtle differences between the two will be detailed in future business classes uh, for all you business majors out there. So let's talk about this accumulation phase where we're making money. Suppose you make a payment of PMT at the end of each compounding period into an account with an interest rate of I equals R over M per period, right? The interest rate is a decimal divided by the number of compounding periods per year. Then the future value of the account after N equals MT periods will be the future value is equal to the payment multiplied by all of 1 plus I to the N, right? So that's just the same as 1 plus R over M to the MT. We had this part of it in compound interest. But we don't call this present value anymore because there's more going on. There's no lump sum deposit going on. We're contributing small amounts all the time and growing this account. So the minus one and the I, trust me, you don't want to know the development of this formula. This is how we know that we're using payment and not just straightforward uh, compound interest. All right, so saving for retirement. You start your retirement account with your first job in your career out of college. The fund pays 4.2% interest per year, compounded monthly. At the end of every month for the next 10 years, you deposit $100 into the account. How much money will be in the account at that time? Well, we can identify our variables, always. How much money will be in the account? Future value? No idea. Our interest rate is 4.2%, which is 0 0.042. We are compounding monthly. We're depositing monthly. Those will always match up. Uh, in this class, business classes will teach you about when that doesn't uh, match up. So M equals 12, 12 months in a year. And we're going to do this for 10 years with a payment of $100. Let's not forget our formula. All right, the formula is up here. So as we substitute, future value equals 100 times the quantity 1 plus R over M to the power of MT minus 1, then divide by I. And when you enter this, you should get 14,881.31. What this means is, after working for 10 years, this account would have $14,881.31. But keep in mind, you put $100 in every month for 10 years. You put in $12,000. So that $2,881.31, that's going to be the amount of interest you've earned over those 10 years which is kind of cool, but uh, I got a better one for you here. Goals are good. Goodbye, tension. Hello, pension. I don't think that shark should be drinking alcohol. It seems like that would be bad for him. You determine that you want to retire at age 70 with $500,000 in your retirement fund. If you start work at age 25 with regular monthly contributions to your retirement fund that is also compounded monthly at 4.8% per year, how much should you contribute each month? As always, we start by identifying our variables. Our future value is 500,000. The time, we wanna retire at 70. We started at 25, so that's a span of 45 years. So we're gonna be doing this for 45 years. We're compounding monthly, and our interest rate at 4.8% is 0 0.048. I wanna find the payment. So we use our formula, substitute, and solve. 500,000 is future. We do not know the PMT, but we could fill in the rest of the parentheses. To isolate the PMT, we're going to divide by this fraction. As usual, we don't really divide by fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. So when we are multiplying by the reciprocal, the 0.048 over 12 that was in the denominator on the right is now multiplied uh, on, in the numerator on the left. What was in the numerator on the right when we multiply by the reciprocal, is now in the denominator on the left. And if you enter this one exactly as I have it with all these parentheses, you'll find that the payment is $261.99. Our interpretation starts with words. We should also just finish it with words. You should contribute $261.99 each month. But that's not bad. 
I decided to take a look. $261.99 every month for 45 years. How much do you think you put in of that 500000 Some of you are working it out on your calculator right now. I'm going to tell you it's around 141000 You only put in 141000 but your account has 500000 thanks to the beauty of compound interest. Uh, this is not compound interest, all right? but interest is compounding. Don't get that confused. Compounding interest in an annuity formula. All right. I hope that cleared things up a little bit. Thank you very much for watching.